Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Prism Baseball. 12 box, pick your team, number four. All card chip. We have uh, Nick Jaspi right over my shoulder right here helping us out with this, so we'll be able to shave some uh, decent amount of time off this. Um, pick your team four on the fourth. We should do a we should do a prison baseball a day. Keep those numbers in line. Big thanks to everybody here. Brandon Richards ended up with double last spot mojo, getting the Orioles and the Giants straight up. At the end. Oh, the boxer? No. Just too many. It's packed with hits. Just too many hits. So thanks to Nick for helping us out. Thanks everybody for getting in. Pick your team five, already loaded up. And teams are moving. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Maybe we'll, I mean, with a little luck, we might see another case tonight. That's kind of cool. Mike Towers asking you, Nick, will the Eagles go undefeated? Yeah. Wow. I said Eagles Chiefs five weeks ago. People were laughing. Bold. Clearly the two best teams. I said, I said uh, Eagles Raiders in the Super Bowl. That could still happen. Yeah, your division is staying. Aside from the Chiefs. Aside from the Chiefs. So you're saying there's a chance. NFC beats. Best division in football. Is it really? I, I did not think. Can you imagine Coop, Cooper Rush just taking care of business while Dax, like, Recovering? I did not see that He's happening. Better than Dak. He might be. <laughs> As Bill Simmons says, it's the Patrick Ewing theory. Wow. They're better without him than with him. I know this is a this is a baseball break, ladies and gentlemen, but baseball is kinda Dak, meh until Dak, the playoffs start, so Dak is a bum. Cooper, they should start Cooper Rush for the rest of the year. Now Mike was also asking who has the chance to, to beat the Eagles. Not Arizona, not Dallas, not Pittsburgh, not Who's Houston, not, not Washington, NFC? not the Colts. M maybe Green Bay, but that's in, in Philly. Tennessee, Giants, Bears, at Dallas, yeah. maybe. If Dak, Saints, Giants, that's kind of... I mean, it's only, it's, it, if there's a loss, it's going to be a fluke. It'll be a divisional game if it's a loss. Yeah, like a fluke divisional loss. There might be two or three losses on that season, Nick. That's a pretty good team. Pretty good. All right, we've got a debut signature, Seth Romero. Mark L. with the Nats. And we'll do, we'll do a... Uh, smoke the Cardinals. We'll do an autograph recap at the end. The Cardinals stink. All right, why is it only Eagles minus five? Just because they're in Arizona? They're begging you to take the, right. the Cardinals. Is Greg Diegman? One per case, maybe more. Greg Diegman, Chad Cromwell with the Cubs. It was the worst. Ray, what's going on? How are you, Adam? Worst uh, Vegas week of the year so far. They lost money. What, week four? Yeah, the bookmakers wow. lost money for the first time this year. Oh. Hopefully they'll be able to keep the lights on. <laughs> I think they'll be okay. I think no one feels bad for the books when there's one week down. No. They'll make up, they, and if they don't make it all up, they'll make it up at the Super Bowl. They make it up in like one Thursday night game. Yeah. It's Colton Welker, 13 out of 75. Wander Franco's all go to Chad Wright. We're looking for Silvers, Julio Rodriguez is for Ariano Daniel. Blue parallels not numbered, all card ship. These red parallels also not numbered. Ooh, this is the kind of stuff we're looking for. 98 out of 199, Blue Mojo Refractor, Wander Franco. Chad Wright. If this grades out nicely, I'm just kind of eyeballing it, looks all right. It could be, it could be a nice one. Now the Raiders will finish like second in their division. 
the Chargers are terrible. Injuries too. Yeah, a lot of injuries for the Chargers, and, and that, they, have, they have no fans either. And I don't, I don't know if that's a. They play six. They play seventeen away games. And I don't know. I mean, is that coach it? You know what I mean? Brandon Staley or whatever? After he botched the Raiders-Chargers game last year, he's like, dude, he's so Yeah. And I think, uh, I think Justin Herbert's still carrying, like, a bit of a rib injury there, too. Left tackle's out for the year. Joey Bosa's is out for, like, ten weeks. Yeah. Josh Lowe for the Rays. That'll be for Chad Wright. You know Daryl James or whoever's going to get hurt. Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen yeah, has already been hurt this year. Mike Williams will get hurt. Uh, the the bright side for the Raiders is after the after a, after the Chiefs, uh, they have a bye, and then I think their schedule becomes, at least record wise, becomes uh, significantly easier for them. So that's the silver lining. Joe Ryan, uh, Twins, Chad Boar in this one. Got three different Chads in this break. Chad Cromwell, Chad Boar, and Chad Wright. Jaspiescasebreaks.com, home of the Chads. If you're a Chad, come break with us. All right, that was box one. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of this. And so each half stack, these cards are kind of slippery, but each half stack will represent a box. So there's one box. And there's another box. And friendships, uh, friendships might be ruined between those kids out there. Just over, just over wax. Or the stacker machine. Oh, and that's another box right there. Great, so we got four boxes stacked up here. All right, making some good progress. All right, good luck. Got Blake Snell to 199. Brandon saying we only suck because Hopkins is suspended. Well, and your quarterback likes playing more video games than watching <laughs> And I don't think, I mean, a lot of like, this is a lot of podcasts. It seems like a lot of the sharp bettors are at the little a lot of betting podcasts. They seem to not like uh, Cliff Kingsbury. Yeah, he's, I think people are down on Cliff Kingsbury as a coach. He's, he's one of the favorites first to be fired. Is that right? Him or uh, Matt Rule. Carolina. There's Ronzi Contreras. That will be for the Pirates. That's going to be for Ariana Daniel. Silver Mookie Betts. Yeah, and all the Chargers fans are. There's some. There's some. Yeah. The thieves. There's Jake Berger, 42 out of 60. Blue wave for the White Sox. That'll be for Chad C. It's a it's a dollar's a dollar. It's a high margin business, Nick. Very high. Nick Senzel. There's no arcade distributors. Two out of ten. With. No, you don't have to fight with any distributors. Those repair guys charge a lot, though. Shane yeah, with the Reds. But you got to learn how to do it yourself. Like. Okay, so is that what we're getting into? Yeah. Got Kyle Muller, rookie autographs for the Braves. Chad C. That slash like a trivia um, contest. Yeah. Uh, okay, we can pivot. High end trivia. 
we'll pivot. Like very competitive, you know. You can like do we that get one. like Ken Jennings and we stuff. We got the space for it. And, uh, Jordan Alvarez to 125. The guy who collects cards who broke the Jeopardy record. James or whoever. Is that the sports book? James. Sports betting guy? Yeah. Uh, there's Patrick with the Astros, and we got an autograph for the fish. Steven with the Marlins. Those kids are clearly, no, we can allow horse play here. That's the sound of commerce, Mike Tower. That's what it is. That's the sound of a hobby alive and well. We should be worried if we're not hearing anything out there. Julio Rodriguez, Seattle. That'll go to Ariano. Hopefully we'll find some parallels for that. Not just base. All right, so that's another box. A lot of boxes, it says three autographs on the box, but a lot of times we're getting four autos. So thanks to Panini for his extra hits. Comments? No, what did he say? For Alex Verdugo? Of, of the, the Los of, Angeles Dodgers. Uh, what did he say? He said the Dodgers' uh, 60 game season. Didn't wow. Kind of Throwing some shade on the yeah. on the uh, the Bubble World Series, huh? Yeah. Is there, are the Red Sox even in the playoffs? No, they're not. They're so, lost. so, like, what? I mean, he should worry about his team. Yeah. Maybe he's bitter he got traded. Uh, Rodolfo Kike Castro. Kike signed. He yeah, he was a free agent. Thing? Mm, maybe. Anyone respectable? 116 out of 149, Rodolfo ball. Castro. Well, let's see this here. It's not going to be easy. That NL is pretty tough. Really? Yeah, there's, there's like... The Mets are Mets are a hundred toast. game They're team, toast. and a, and the, the Braves are a hundred game, game winning team. In the division, that's true. The that wasn't good. good. Um, Phillies Cardinals. Yeah. Phillies aren't that good. They're barely scraping by. Austin Riley to one twenty five. Cardinals, I guess. They're always good in the postseason. Who's their manager? Snit no, I was gonna say Brian Snitker, but that's the Braves. Car St. Louis Cardinals manager. Why am I blanking on that? Someone in the chat will let us know. That's all the teams in NL. Rafael Marchand. Uh, yeah, that's it, right? Who won uh, NL? NL? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah it'll be. Oh, I guess, no, Phillies took the Brewers spot. Yeah. That's what it is. So one Padres. Oh, right, Padres. Padres are in, that's yeah, right. Yeah, they're not that either. Rafael Marchand, David with the Phillies. I think the AL is kind of tougher. Yeah, that's what And there's Matt, do you like what Matt Manning does with his auto? The M and the at symbol yeah. for Matt? I thought that was pretty clever. That goes to Chad and the Tigers. You'll get all those uh, Spencer I don't like Torkelsons the un as well. All the unnumbered parallels, but that's just yeah, like this red one right here. Yeah, it should like, be numbered. Yeah, or just not put it in there. I just don't like when they don't perform the sports in unison. Like the one Reds out of six in basketball are at a two ninety nine or whatever, and in baseball they're unnumbered, and in football they're they're like short range. Right. So it just doesn't make any sense. I would love for them to make it more uniform across like prism products. products yeah. Right. So I'll know that, because I know so some products are green is out of five, some and products some are green is like, like out of 99 or, or right, yeah. so I don't know. Yeah. So then I get, all, my, I get all excited when I see a green and it's like, oh, it's a 99. Yeah. Dylan Coleman, rookie autographs, 99 out of 99. Kansas City. Eddie with the Royals. People streaking on the stream? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Did you see Bobby Wagner of the Rams hit? That yeah, I, that was awesome. I feel like that could be like kind of. What? He's gonna get a lawsuit? Lawsuit. 
I don't know, but I mean, hey, it's like, do you want a felony or do you? I mean, you... the team definitely doesn't want guys doing that. No. <laughs> like two guys, two guys like blindsided them. I mean, if they hit face mask to his head, I mean, who knows? You know, I'm not saying the guy didn't deserve it. It's Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals. That'll be for uh, Eric Jennings. There you go, Eric. I think one of the security guards like tore an ACL. Was <laughs> it a hit? Well, no. He, he was chasing after the guy, and then he like crumpled to the ground. Non-contact injury. Yeah. Poor guy. A lot of those guys, a lot of those streakers are doing like those smoke bombs. Yeah. What do they think they're in a English Premier League match yeah. or something? It's John Heasley to one ninety nine. Yeah. Where do they? Where do they think they are? Watching a Champions League match in Turkey? Yeah. Yeah, I watched the Wrexham um, episode about hooligans and soccer. Oh, yeah. Level. Well, and I then was... right after the Indonesia thing happened. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Crazy. I was like, man, American sports look so tame. It's, we're tame to, compared to this. I was like, people would complain about Eagles fans. And tame. Like, they'd be the most tame sports tame fans compared to like, all of to like hooligans the Tame compared to hooligans in the 80s? Yeah. Especially 80s, 90s. Yeah, they're saying it's coming back. Like, yeah. Yeah, that thing. All right, we got an Aaron Judge flipped around, and we've got a Nick Fortis for the fish. That's going to be for Steven and Miami. 32 out of 50. The Aaron Judge, I don't know, just a tier three Aaron Judge. I thought it was going to be something special. It's true. Josh Hader to 125. That was like stampedes, though. Yeah, didn't, didn't they Brian. throw batteries at, at Santa Claus, too? Who did they throw batteries at? That's fake news. That's fake news. <laughs> Chad with the Brewers, that's just something that... West Coasters here about Philadelphia, and we're just like, yeah, they no, throw batteries like, at people out there. It's just like a media, you know, thing. Just like how Dodgers fans leave early at the stadium. Or Dodgers, yeah, Dodgers fans stab people in the parking lot. Right. It's just one time, one time, yeah. one time, one time, yeah. one time. Yeah. Videl <laughs> Bruhan for the Rays, Chad Wright. I like how LA people arrive to games late, but that one's kind of true. Aaron Ashby, that is kind of true. But I've, I mean, everyone leaves early. I've seen Cardinals yeah, fans. I've seen Cardinals LAFC. fan leave leave stadiums. I went to an LAFC game and Chad Brewers. We left like in the eighty third minute, and we were the only ones like getting up. And the game was up. It was like three three one. Hmm. The game was over, and I, like I felt nervous. Like Ronald Cunha to one, and you thought some some LAFC some LAFC ultra would yeah. come out and be like, that's not the LFC way. LAFC yeah, way. Yeah, bro. But soccer is intense. I mean, especially in like. In like Europe, we have like how many different sports are you following? Yeah. Imagine if it was just all of your angels energy, yeah. your your uh, basketball energy, yeah. your foot the NFL energy, your hockey energy, all that was just poor. It's the only into, team they have in their whole town. That's it. And the only, only team they have the it's only, only thing. entertainment they have. That's the only it's sporting the only entertainment thing. you have. So like so imagine if if so then it's not like if the Eagles have a bad week, you're like, oh, at least my baseball team won or right. something like that. Right. No, <laughs> it's just, that's it, that's your life. One, they only play once a week like that. Right. Now, so. so, yeah, and I, I can see where they get pretty intense about their, yeah. about their footy. That's crazy. You go back out there into the wild? <laughs> into the wild. Parking myself. All right, next box. All right, so big thanks to Nick for helping us out. That helps the, uh, the this break go a little bit more quickly, which is always nice for these longer breaks. Nick Allen, debut signatures autograph for the A's. Patrick. Reed Detmers, rookie autograph for the Halos. That's going to be for Chad. Is there a Pulisic book coming out, Eric? Maybe Pulse could do a do a book signing out here or something like that. 
John Gray to 149. That'll be for the Ranger. That's going to be for Patrick. I think we've seen too many, unless I miss some. All cards ship, but is that? That might be our first Bobby Witt Jr. base card. Eddie with the Royals. Might have been others, Eddie. Base, anyway. We're looking for some bigger fish on that. We're looking for some silvers, but there's a base. Uh, Bobby Witt, Yohan Mankata to 60. And Dylan Coleman, red. Oh, sorry, Eric. Uh, what I, I saw you mentioning something about about Tottenham earlier. Rough day at the office for the Hotspurs. I think uh, Liverpool were able to get by the Scottish team Rangers in the Champions League match today, which was which was nice. They're trying to Liverpool trying to find a little consistency. Got Cal Raleigh rookie autographs. I think he's the guy that hit the walk-off homer or hit for the Mariners that helped them clinch a playoff spot. 275, if I'm not mistaken. Ariano with that one. Someone fact-checking on that. Bueno going to St. Louis. That'll be for Eric. It's 199. Not a shot on goal today. That's that's a rough day. At the office. O'Neill Cruz, rookie autographs. Nice one for Ariana Daniel and the Pittsburgh Pirates. I nice. see. Future star of the league, O'Neill Cruz, one hopes. Hopefully, he keeps it up. Hit the foul pole, Brandon Richards saying that Cal Raleigh shot. So we have the Reed Detmers and the other couple autographs here. All right. Stack some more boxes on here. Here's half a box. Oops, sorry. Here's the other half. Here's half a box. Here's the other half. All right. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for getting in. Uh, Prism 5 is in the store. I have, I have an idea. Any guesses on that redemption? I think I know who it's going to be. I think only two players I've seen as, uh, as redemptions. We got a Elvis Paguero rookie autographs for the Halos. Red Wave Auto for Chad C. Romy Gonzalez, Lime Green to 125. Terry's guessing Wander. Yeah, he's a possibility. J Rod is a guess. I think J Rod is live. Maybe at least some of his autographs are live. All right, good luck. It's gonna be Seiya Suzuki, debut signatures. That's for the Cubs, that'll be for Chad C. So the so it's been mostly Seiya Suzuki and the Marlins' Edward Cabrera have been the redemption, sometimes a wander. So I'll go to the North Siders. At least that's what I've seen mostly in our cases. Luis Guild, 75. That'll be for the Yankees. That'll be for Mark L. If 
Byron Buxton to 149. Lucas, what's going on? And we got Angel Zerpa, 24 out of 75, Red Wave autograph for KC, Eddie H. Wander Franco and Julio Rodriguez. A couple base cards there. All right, next box, good luck. Got Chas McCormick, 56 out of 75 for the Strohs. That'll be for Patrick. Brandon Lau. Torkelson for Detroit. And the next auto behind Illumination Inter Mike Trout is Jose Siri. Hey Siri. 32 out of 75. Astros, Red Wave Autograph for Patrick. And Chad C has look at all these torques. Rex, what's going on? Gold, Goldschmidt right here, 34 out of 99. Goldie going to Eric. Is that your MVP right there, your NL MVP? Is this your NL Cy Young winner? There might be some surprises in those, those awards. Another O'Neill Cruz, nice. Not a silver auto, the other one was a silver auto, this is a base auto. Still nice, Pirates, Ariano. Pete Alonzo maybe? Eric Jennings is kind of speculating. Pete Alonzo probably would get some MVP votes, I would think. I don't know if he's going to win it. I think the last time we checked, and I know the Vegas odds don't necessarily reflect what the Baseball Writers of America are going to do. There's Ryan Feltner, 93 out of 99. It's for Kevin M and the Rockies. But for whatever that's worth, I think they had Paul Goldschmidt as a heavy favorite, and I think maybe... Freddie Freeman might have been in the mix at, at longer odds for whatever that's worth. Get some more boxes here. Got a box. Other box. Another box. Each half stack is a box. What are the scores of note today? Well, I mean, we got to keep track of Braves and Mets, right? What's the Braves' magic number? One. If they just win, they're they they win the division. They're up one nothing in the third, and the Nationals are. Uh, are in New York. Oh, there's a double header, so I guess the 
the Mets are now half game back, or gained a half game from one and a half to one. But I think, I want to say, that the Braves just need a win today. Their magic number is one. If, they're win, if they win, they win the AL East, or NL East. Got Sal Perez to 125. That'll be for Eddie in the Royals. Got a Juan Soto Orange, 001, the first one stamped at 100. That will be for the Nats, that's still Nationals edition. Got another Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals. There is Oliver Ortega. For the Halos. That's going to be for Chad C. Gilo, what's going on, Gabe? How are you? half of this current box. Got Spencer Strider. This is this your uh, potential NL rookie of the year? I think this might be your NL rookie of the year. For the Braves, Chad C. Terry's thinking, yeah, NL Rookie of the Year for sure. And I think obviously on the AL side, I think Julio Rodriguez is running away with that AL Rookie of the Year. There is Jackson Reitz, Purple Cracked Ice autograph for the Brew Crew. That's going to be for Chad C. Eight out of 25. And we got a Zach Short. Zach Short. Now I know everyone's wondering, how tall is Zach Short? Zach Short is a uh, 5'10". Shorter than most, not as short as some. Corbin Burns to 25. And next half box. I thought I thought Braves' Michael Harris would have had it. There's Mookie Betts to 149 for the Dodgers, Chad C. But I really think that uh, that Spencer Strider has taken the lead. There's Matt Chapman. Blue Jays, Matt Chapman. Chad C. with the Bluebirds. L's, first time buying from us. Thanks. Yeah, keep an eye on the on the break schedule. I'm going to have to go through a bunch of orders after this. I'm seeing a ton of orders coming in here, but but we'll uh, hopefully we'll have some stuff sold out. We'll get it on the schedule. That is a case hit. Case hit or just a short print? I don't think these land one per case. But we know that batting stance. That's Aaron Judge Lava Flow for the Yankees. Mark with the Bronx Bombers. He's been bombing it. What a season he's had in a walk year? Come on.
But anyway, Els, uh, Nightbot, our virtual assistant, frequently drops the schedule in the chat. So keep an eye on that to see when your break is going to happen. You can also keep an eye on the spots left number on jazbeescasebreaks.com. It'll give you an idea how close your, your break is or what kind of momentum is happening there. TJ Friedel, 23 at 35, snakeskin autograph for the Red Legs. Also, I don't know, what else for, for first time buyers? Uh, there's a frequently asked questions section on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Take a look at that for, uh, for some of our house rules and other shipping related information and whatnot. It's Freddie Freeman. And a Riley Adams, 38 out of 149 for the Nats. Mark with the Nationals. Nate Ivaldi, and that's Ryan Mountcastle Blue, 41 out of 100 for Boston. It's going to go to Chad C. and the Red Sox. Nick Lodolo, one out of 10. Nice debut signatures. Nice low number. Ron of Cincinnati, Shane, with the red legs. Ron Cincinnati. Ron Cincinnati. Say a Suzuki giraffe print. That's a short print as well. Chad C. And the CHC. All right, another box down, another one on the table, and then two more box to go. Good luck. If you see bold, be bold. Kirby Puckett, 127 out of 149, red for the Twins, Chad B. Nick Allen, red. Noah Syndergaard to 35, Angels edition there. That's going to go to Chad C. Another Ryan Feltner, rookie autographs this time. Red parallel for Kevin and the Rocks. Gilo thinks the animal print cards are kind of, I think I, I, ra I rather like those cards. I think they're nice. Cards on the Phillies now, that's right. Another torque. And Stuart Fairchild, 74 out of 75. That's for Rob and the Snakes, the Diamondbacks.
114 out of 199, Tyler Glass now. Greg, what's going on? Ran into Tim, Tim who? I think we, we know a number of Tims. Another redemption coming up. And it's Seiya Suzuki. Debut signature is another one for the Cubs. Oh, fair weather, Tim, you mean. Fairweather fan Tim only shows up when they're winning. Stephen Ridings. Riddings? 41 out of 75. I'm going to go with Riddings. Ridings? Riddings, maybe two Ds. Ridings. That's going to go to Mark and the Yankees. This is our Carolina Blue Hot Box. Right there. Those are good looking parallels. Reese Hoskins to 149. For the Phillies, that's going to go to David. Oh, there you go. Julio Rodriguez in that Carolina Blue. And an Eli Morgan Carolina Blue autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. David with that one. Another Torkelson base for Detroit. Mike Yastrzemski, 49 out of 60 for the Giants. And a Wander Franco in Carolina blue. Nice. That's a nice little color match, too, with the team uniform. Chad Wright and the Rays. Top loader, not worthy of Wander Franco. This one is. This one feels good. I don't know if these go for. I'm sure they do pretty well in the secondary market, especially if they grade out nicely. And a tiger stripe short print. That's Hans Kraus. David with the Phillies. Sale and Rendon. Vlad Guerrero Illumination. It looks like a parallel. But oh, maybe it's the Carolina Blue version of that Illumination. Ah, look at this. Nutritious Newt Bars. Rookie autograph. Mars Newt Bar. Hopefully go in the, uh, the, the nutrition bar industry. 149 out of 149, the last one printed. That will be for Eric Jennings and the Redbirds. Jeff McNeil, Blue Mojo to 199. And that's that. That was the second to last box. We're not on TV here. Maybe uh, go MLB tonight. Last box coming up. We'll do a quick little recap after this as well. Good luck, everybody. Clayton Kershaw. 75, I think he's making a start tonight. Final start before playoffs. 
We got a Colton Welker rookie autograph for the Rocks, Kevin M and the Rockies. Jose Abreu, Blue Mojo to 199. For the White Sox. Another Torkelson base. And we got a Jose Abreu autograph for the Southsiders. Chad, Chad C, Chad Cromwell's both Chicago teams, North and South. One out of ten. All right. Second half. Should be one more. Yeah, there it is. Edward Olivares, Royals, Eddie H. Might be another autograph in there. This is our third of the box. Sometimes we've been seeing four. There it is, Cutter Crawford. Does he throw a cutter? I don't know. There he is, Red Sox. It's gonna be for Chad. Chad C. Fifth autograph? It's a lot of cards left. There's a Julio Rodriguez. That'll be for Ariano and the Mariners. Yoni Hernandez, Wado on 100 for Eddie and the Royals. Or so check that. Patrick and the Rangers. Got a Wander Franco. And a red Wander Franco. That's a nice way to end it. So Chad Wright with the Rays gets the Wander Franco base and the red Wander Franco. I like seeing those parallels. Those are pretty strong. Yanni Hernandez with the Rangers and Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners. All right. Quick little recap right here. Yeah, sorry, Brandon. We'll, we'll get him in the next one. Some nice stuff here. Luke is wondering if, do you think Aaron Judge gets it done tonight? Does he get 62? There he is right here. He's got the second game of a double header, right? Against the Rangers. And then what, one more game tomorrow maybe? be cool to see. That's a nice Wander Franco too. Forgot about that one. And there you have it, boys and girls. That's another full case break of 2022 Panini Prism Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number four. Pick your team five in the store right now. Check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll baseball some more with you next time. Bye-bye.